Yeah. 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 Right, so yeah, what was he saying about the news? Um, we was on the, how the, the heat, there's a heat wave happening, isn't it? And it's going to get worse as well in the next like few few weeks. And obviously it's, it's causing the ocean to, to raise the temperature. And what they're saying is it's, it's intensifying its heat uh, wave and, it, and it's stressing coral reefs with conditions that could end up strengthening hurricanes. So basically, the the corals of the of the sea, the seabed, and that, because of the the temperature rising in that, it's gonna cause. You know, Esau's got an explanation for everything, but you know they're trying to say that um, the hurricanes are gonna be intensified because of the um, the heat and that. You know. Remember. Because you keep eating the shrimps and the yeah. crabs and everything, yeah, that's right. there's, there's nothing for the crows, to, you know, to be cleansed. So it's gonna do it. The earth is gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna vomit right. back up what, what, what the bullshit that you left there, isn't it? That's right. That's, that's that's what's happening. That's why it's gonna do that. That's right, man. Because obviously they're the, they're the things that clean it, you know. And if they keep, you know, raking them in and selling them and eating them, then what's actually cleaning the ocean? That's right. See, so go on, go on. Uh, 22. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 22, it and it reads, For a fire is kindled in my anger, yeah, go on. and shall burn until the lowest hell, yeah. and shall consume the earth, and shall what? And I'm shall going to consume, consume the earth, earth with her increase, yeah. and set on fire the foundations on, of the mountains. Yeah. I will heap mischiefs upon them, yeah. I, will sp I will spend my arrows upon them yeah. they shall be burnt with hunger yeah. and devoured with burning heat and with bitter destruction i will also send teeth of peace upon them for with the poison of serpents of the dust that's right man so you know the most high is stirring up the stirring up the heat on this earth man, and it's and it's consuming certain places obviously you're seeing wildfires you know, bears when they, yeah, bears, like the beasts are coming out, yeah. everything's changing, man. So this is only just the beginning as well, man. Do you know what I mean? Go on. This one. Um, I'm starting giving them out. Revelation. Uh, okay. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 16 and verse verse 8 And the fourth angel poured out his veil upon the sun and poured uh, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire and men were scorched with the great heat and bless and blasphemed the name of Yahweh which have power over the these plagues and they repented not to give him glory. Right, man. So even when these things are actually happening, they're still not going to repent and turn from their ways to give the Most High glory. And this is why judgment is happening upon the earth. You know. So yeah, on another one now, like President Joe Biden authorized the Pentagon to dispatch an additional 3,000 reserve troops to uh, to to basically boost the European security from his uh, return trip to NATO, NATO's eastern flank, where he vowed to protect every inch of NATO te territory. And um, and he said that Putin had already lost the war. So this is what Putin, um, Biden's saying. It's, you know, that's the pride that we was talking about this morning. He's lifted up his voice and he's saying, look, we've won it already. And they don't know what, what, what um, what, uh, yeah, Baba Kishar. They don't know what um, uh, Putin's got and what he's what he's doing in Belarus and what he, what he's doing with uh, China and uh, what's it and North Korea. Do you know what I mean? You got that, yeah? This is the book of Obadiah, chapter one and verse three. The pride of thine heart has deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the cliff of the rock, whose habitation whose habitation is high, that save in his heart. Who shall bring me down to the ground? Yeah. Though they exalt themselves as the eagle, yeah. 
And though they set that nest among the stars, thence will I bring them down, save your hour. That's what I mean, man. So their pride, they, they, their pride's been just over, over did these yeah. nowadays, man. They, that, they, you know, that's why they, nothing's never enough, you know, with, when it comes to the so-called white man and Esau, you know, and his kingdom. But he, you know, again, obviously Revelation 12 and 12, isn't it? You know, they know that their time's coming up. So he's talking mad, mad blasphemy words against Putin and all hell's going to break loose, man. Uh, yeah, um, no, just the, the one about they both. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 73. Okay. Psalm 73 and verse 7. Their eyes stand out um, with fatness. Them, um, they have more than a heart could wish. Yeah. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lovely. That's it, man. And that's another thing you see as well. You see them talking uh, loftily and that about our people and that, you know? Hello. Shalom. Hello. Yeah, Hello. peace, peace. Yes, yes. Yeah. She was here to close it up, That's right. Opening that's up right. to close it up. So yeah man, that's, that's beautiful still. Um, yeah, so if you want, uh, get, can you get me uh, Jeremiah 51 and verse 56? And then finish on 57, I'm for sure. Yeah, yeah, come, come, come. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 56. And it reads, because the spoiler is come upon her, even upon Babylon, and her and her mighty men are taken. Every one of their of their bowls is broken. Yeah. For your power, power of recompense shall surely require um, re re require. Yeah, yeah. And I will make drunk her princes. I will, I will make drunk her princes yeah. and her wise men, yeah. her captains and her rulers, yeah, her mighty yeah. men, and What's they shall before? sleep. A perpetual sleep and not wake, save the king whose name is Yahweh of hosts. That's what I mean. So the Most High has put a perpetual sleep on these leaders and these rulers, man. So, you know, the Biden and their man there, they're sleeping. They're sleeping on Putin, man. And, and, the, and the East Kings, like it says. Do you know what I mean? But this is all of the Most High. He's put that slumber on them. You know, that's why they say the things they do and they do the things they do, knowing that it's going to aggravate war. Do you know what I mean? On another thing now, uh, the BRICS, the, the BRICS here, the, uh, which is the, what is it, Brazil, Brazil, Russia, uh, India, China and South America, they're, they're creating their own uh, brick, uh, brick coin, a cryptocurrency. Yeah, and basically it's, it's between the five na uh, nations and um, what's it, it'll be backed by gold, 20% uh, uh, something percent of oil, 40% uh, of corn and 40% of uh, wheat and uh, 3.2 billion uh, people are within those, those continents, or not continents, countries. So yeah, this is going to be a big deal man. Yeah, because of, um, Putin, Putin saying to to um, Biden and the, the Americans, he's not jumping into he's not jumping into that cryptocurrency. He's not going digital. He said he's going to go to natural resources. He's going back to the gold and the silver and the zinc and the copper and the seeds and everything. There's a um there's a vault somewhere. I think it's in in Russia or one of those countries. There's a big vault where they've got every single grain and every single seed locked in his vault and it's on one of those remote islands you can't actually uh, like you can't go to as soon as you go to it, they get onto you like the, the russian army i think it's into russia the russian army get onto you and you get locked up and put in prison man. revelation 18 and 11. yeah because remember we've been we've been before we this got, whole thing um broke out the war with revelation ukraine and, and uh, russia they said that that those two countries uh make up like what 60 70 percent of the world's wheat so yeah, that makes sense. You know what I mean? That's why this coin's gonna be backed by it. You got it, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. The book of Revelations, chapter 18, and verse 11. Yeah. And the merchants of the earth 
shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys their merchandise anymore. Yeah. Verse 12, the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble. Yeah, so all these things, they're, 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 they're not going to want to buy these things no more. There's more now, there's more now. Verse 13. And cinnamon and odour, odours, and pipements and pipements and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and, and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. Yeah. Verse 14. And the fruits that your soul lusted after are departed from you. Oh what? And all and the fruits. Fruit. And, well, and, and, and the fruits fruit. that your soul lusted after, after are, are departed, departed from you. you. And all things which were dainty and goodly and are departed from you. And you shall find them no more at all. Yeah man, so that's this stuff. There's gonna be a time where this all this stuff's gonna go man. Do you know what I mean? And obviously they're gonna try and force all these things. Do you know what I mean? Like these uh, laws and that, and <laughs> this is just prophecy, isn't it? This is prophecy. Um, but, but, and, and, you're gonna, and you're gonna see how it's gonna be, because that's when you're gonna see the uproar of more of the people. Because of, if you're not gonna consent to, to, to um, Biden and, and America's way, and try to go to America, Putin ain't gonna accept you. So you're, you're, you're gonna be stuck in, what is it, a rock and a hard thing, is that what they say? Yeah. That they say, yeah. But you know, you have to say that you, uh, the brothers that there, the brothers and sisters that there that are holding fast and diligent to this word, in truth and sincerity, in repenting every day, that the most high saves you out that that trouble. But Jacob's trouble's gonna come, and you're gonna see a lot of Jakes getting scarce in them times. Yeah, that's right. That's right, man. Right, and on the on the last thing as well. Uh, remember last week or the week before, they were they burnt the Quran. In, uh, I think it was Sweden. Yeah. yeah, now look, Swedish police approved a request to hold a public gathering to burn Judeans' holy book, to Torah, and the Bible in front of the Israeli embassy. Wow. According to the Swedish media, the burning will take place outside the embassy in Stockholm. Badness, man. Give me uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. So yeah, and this is, look, the Swedish police approved of it. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is it, man. These are the end times, man. That's a, get a, uh, Amos, This is the book of Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Woe unto them that decreed unrighteous decrees, and that, um, and that right grievous, grievousness which they have prescribed. So woe unto them people, man. Those, those, those leaders and them government systems that are um, decreeing unrighteous decrees, like burning the, the Bible. Do you know what I mean? Go on, was it? Uh, no, I, uh, uh, my, what's it? What's the Bible? Uh, uh, this is the book of Amos. Chapter 8 and verse 11, Behold, the day comes, save Yahweh power, that I will set a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the word of Yahweh. And they shall be weird, um, and they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the words of Yahweh and shall not find it. Yeah, man. So there's, that's, the, that's what's going to happen, you know, like it says uh, in Daniel 12 and 4, you know, wisdom and knowledge is going to increase itself, but then, you know, obviously it's going to, the wit's going to uh, hide itself when it comes to that, man. And on top of that as well, remember this is, the, what's done in the old is done in the new. The only thing is now, the most high is doing it on the recompense on the heathen side, because remember, they, they're using our book on the left hand. But this is our law, so that's why it's saying um, that's, only, uh, that's the famine of the world, they're going to run to and fro because the men of the Most High ain't going to be here, man. Like most of the Yahweh Rathazah, like I said, brothers and sisters that are holding 
diligent, he put his truth. Most he, he, he gets you out of the wilderness, man, and, 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 and protects us like he did in the time of Exodus. You know, guys, us through the wilderness because it's gonna, it's gonna get scarce where we have to go into, into the, into the, the fields, man. We ain't gonna, because this is the mountains right now. Like we're in the mountains, we're in the mountains of Babylon. But when it, when it gets scarce, we're gonna come out of Egypt and we're gonna go back into the wilderness. And you know. So, 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 so we're going to close that now, yeah? Um, I've got, I've got, you got any more? I've got, yeah, I've got, um, one more. So, uh, yeah, so there's been more, um, um, IFO, IFO sightings for us that know identifying flying objects. We know as the chariots of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, there's been more sightings recently in the past five, um, five months, but, um, yeah. A lot of a lot of people are saying it's down to drones and it's um, down to the the blue beams, but you can tell when it's a, it's a chariot, man. If you know a chariot, you know it's a chariot, because the way they're moving and the way they're just zooming out of, out of screen and uh, people catching them. The most is about to start doing these works, man. Uh, 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 Ezekiel, let me, let me go. Ezekiel chapter, chapter one. Ezekiel chapter one and verse. What about their flight? They've said their flight back now, they knew. Is Ezekiel chapter 1 and verse 7? 16. This is the book of Ezekiel. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 1 and verse 16. The appearance of wheels and their work was like unto color of peril and of forehead and lightness of their appearance and their works. And it was a wheel, with a wheel within the middle of a wheel. Slakia. And was wearing their will in the middle of a will. Yeah, so that's the chariots, man. The chariots have got wheels. Some people will say they're literal clouds. Alright? Yeah. They're not clouds. They literally have wheels and wheels and wheels and stuff. You understand? And the Mosai, it says the uh, the Shai, he flew up on it. Alright? Fine. Alright, so yeah. So yeah, there's chariots that are being sighted in these end days, man. Alright? And the way they form, they, the way they manoeuvre, they manoeuvre. Like no one can, no one can ever know it, man. So give me the book of the Daniel seven, uh, seven and eighteen. Give me, um, um, give me uh, Acts chapter. Yeah, get Revelations uh, four, uh, fourteen and verse eight. Give me the book of uh, uh, Second Ezra sixteen sixty six Psalms. This is the book of Psalms one hundred and thirty two and verse eleven. Yahweh is one in truth unto David, he will not turn from me. Of the fruit of thy body will he set upon thy throne. If thy children will keep thy covenant and thy testimony that I shall teach them, their children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. Right, so yeah, the, po the point of that is, the Most High has promised David. A lot of people have forgot about that promise the Most High, all right, Yahweh has given to David. That David's children are going to run the world, are going to rule the world in righteousness. You understand? Because right now the people that are ruling this world are not Negroes or Hispanics. Right now it's the it's Gringo, it's Diablo, alright? It's Satan that is ruling this world right now in wickedness. Alright? This is Second Ezra 16 and verse 66. What will you do or how will you hide your sins before the most high and his angels? So that no one can hide their sins from the most high. No one can say they're of the without sins and they're Mr. Righteous. But that doesn't mean you just give up and you lose hope. You have to keep striving, keep with your brother. All right, push hard. Behold, the Most High Himself is the judge. Fear Him. Right, Everyone says, "Oh, the only God can judge me." All right, you should be should be prepared for that judgment. All right, because you should fear Him. All right, and leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall. The Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. So yeah, the old person you was in the old ways, you need to put on a new ways, put on a new vibration, and forget them old mad corrupted ways. This is the book of this is the book of this is the book of Daniel seven verse eighteen. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. But the what? But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. They're gonna beg for it. Shall take the kingdom. We're gonna ask about it. Shall take the kingdom. kingdom. The saints of the Most High are literally gonna get hands on, and they're gonna take this place and possess the kingdom.
kingdom. And possess the kingdom. It's going to be ours. This, this whole world is going to be the saints, the so-called blacks and Hispanics. Forever. For how long? Forever. For a little bit. Forever. Forever. Columbus might come true. Forever. Alexandra might roll in. Forever. Uh, Ramesses might roll up. Forever. Yeah, no more you're going to see any Egyptian, Ethiopian, any other nationality come true, right? We're going to own it forever. Even forever and ever. Even forever, ever, forever, ever, and ever and ever. These are things that the Christian church don't talk about, man. They don't talk about a people running the world forever and ever. They think, oh, you, you, I'm, I'm a spiritual Israelite. Madness, man. The saints aren't little babies and nappies on the nap. All right? The saints are the so-called blacks and Hispanics that keep abide by these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 14 and verse 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen. Oh, it's okay over here. Babylon, Babylon is fallen. fallen. We're living our best life. Babylon is fallen. Babylon is fallen. Is what? It's fallen. This place is done. It's slip, trip, and bust is slip, man. All right? Brothers were talking about the prophecies that have been going on in the world. All right? Looking up, you know, uh, looking up diligently how this world is destroyed, man. It's fallen. AI wants to kill, it, kill you like the damn uh, re re Recon City, like damn Resident Evil and that. All right? You got AI technology that wants to kill your children, man. You got faggotry and Batmanism all over the place. This place is fallen, man. It's done. All right? And you calling yourself black in 2023, you're colorblind, man. You're brown. Read. Babylon is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And on that, we're going to close out and give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Bahara Karkadash. And give Babylon is right to the orders that all of teach you are. Quiet, man. Quiet, man. Shema Mashiach, Kel Shai. I manu Allah.